I'm here with Gabrielle Gote of Caisse de at the FTTH Council Workshop here in Valencia. Gabrielle, thanks for talking to us. We've grabbed you out of this workshop. What was the main subject of what you were talking about today? Uh, the topic of the workshop was wholesale only models for fibre. So we were mentioning what was happening in some of the European markets, Sweden, Germany, UK or Iceland, because the Nordic countries have been looking at fiber uh, with a wholesale only model for longer than the other countries. Italy is now looking at it with open fiber. And in France, we have been looking at this model um, for 18 years now, 2000, with, we started with the backhaul of the fiber and now, of course, the FTTH, the, the, the access. Um, and what we're trying to do is to is to see it and to view it as an essential infrastructure that needs to be wholesale only. I mean, for you, what have been some of the big changes of the last two or three years? Uh, the biggest changes for us, who have been early investors, um, uh, is to see that others were joining in and have been massively joining in in the last two or three years. I was in London last Thursday receiving the best PPP, PFI project, telecom project award for a huge fiber project in contest in France. It's over one billion infrastructure project and I can tell you it's a, one of the biggest infrastructure projects um, I deal with and at the Caisse de Depot I deal with other types of vertical um, infrastructure projects, ports, airports, railroads, uh, highways, uh, waste, energy. Uh, so this fiber, open access fiber over the whole Grand Est region of France uh, was awarded the best PPP um, uh, award by Thomson Reuters. And uh, why is it a success? Because now we are not the only investors. We are co-investors with private long-term infrastructure funds uh, like Marguerite, like um, others, and the banks are lending. So. It is now, fibre is now viewed as a normal infrastructure when it is structured with a wholesale model. And of course, really, it's only just the start in the fact I think people are acknowledging that fibre is so critical to things like 5G, IoT, there's so much more to come. Uh, for sure. When you build such an infrastructure, you build it future-proof. Uh, first of all, it's it's future-proof because it's following the um, the um, it's this the, the the way of technology. Technology is moving to um, network function virtualization, and so an essential infrastructure has to be future-proof for all the future generations of what's going to happen in platforms, 5G, IoT. Um, that's why also it needs to be open. And even if IoT is not going to perhaps need a lot of uh, uh, broad uh, a lot of bandwidth, it will have to be. Um, an open access because do you see cities opening up uh, their, their, their pavements three or four times um, to deal with all these little small cell and femto cells on bus poles or uh, on, the, on the walls of buildings? No. So you will have, fibre will be one essential infrastructure fit for everything, especially for all the future generations to come um, and the future uh, of mobile and of IoT and of 5G is fibre. Very interesting. Fascinating to talk to you. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome.